Hello students, this video is for class 8 computer studies. In this video, I am going to explain about the conversion of one number system to other. Especially today, I am going to focus on decimal number system to binary number system. In my last video, I have explained what are the different number systems and in detail, I have said what uh, like about explained about decimal number system, binary number system, octal and hexadecimal with example. Today, I am going to explain how to identify a decimal number system and how to convert a decimal number system to a binary number system. See here are some examples which I have displayed that is 256 to the base 10, 42 to the base 10, 1011 to the base 2 and 100001 to the base 2. Out of this these two numbers are classified as decimal number systems. And these two are binary number system. The reason is First thing you can say because of the base value because the decimal number system has the base value 10 and binary has the base value 2. One more thing as per the condition which I have explained in the last video that each and every digit see there are three digits in this number 2, 5 and 6. Each and every digit should be below 10. 6 is below 10. 5 is below 10 and 2 is below 10. So this number belongs to a decimal number system. Though I have specified few decimal numbers and few binary numbers here, you don't know what is the equivalent binary value of this decimal number. In this video, I am going to explain how to convert a decimal number to a binary number system. And binary means a number with each in, uh, in the number, each and every digit should be below 2. See, this, these two are example for binary number system, I said. Why is it so? Because each and every digit here, can you see this? So, this is below 2. For converting a number from decimal number system to binary number system, there are certain rules to be followed. First thing is write a number from decimal number system and divide it by the base value of the new number system you are going to make. Today we are going to convert from decimal to binary. The base of binary number system is 2. So this base should be 2. So divide the number by 2 and you all know when you divide a number by any other number you will get two answers. One is the quotient and another one is the remainder. So please separate the quotient and the remainder and write here like how I have specified. So quotient and the remainder should be separated and written in the respective places. Keep now divide this quotient by the base value and write the quotient what you receive from that division. Separate the quotient and the remainder. Keep doing it till the quotient becomes 0 and the remainder becomes 1. For example, if you take the number, decimal number 24, divide by the base value that is 2, the quotient what you get will be 12 and the remainder what you get will be 0. So separate the quotient and the remainder. If you have a confusion that how you got this 12, let me explain to you. This is a normal division how you do in mathematics. Take the number and divide it by number 2. So the quotient what you get will be, first one is 1 and you will get over here 2. When you subtract, you will get 0 
next bring the next digit that is 4 how many times 2 will go in this 4 that is 2 times 4 when you subtract you will get 0 so everyone knows this is your remainder and this is your quotient. So write a quotient here that is this 12 and the remainder is 0. So you will get 12 and 0 here in this respective quotient and remainders place. And I said to continue doing this process till you get 0. So this 12 will be divided further by 2. This 12 will be further divided by 2. What will be the quotient when you divide this 12 by 2? It will be 6. And what will be your remainder? 0. So keep doing this process till you get the quotient as 0. Finally, from bottom to top, everyone knows what is, what is the meaning of bottom to top. From here to here, arrange all the remainders. That will be your respective binary value of the decimal value what you have given. Don't forget to write the base value of the number system. So when you write a binary value, you must represent its base value that is base 2. How to convert number 23, decimal number 23 to a binary number? First, as per the rule, write the number that is 23, divide it by its base that is 2. And everyone knows when you divide number 23 by 2, you will get two answers that is a quotient and a remainder. Quotient will be 1 and 1 that is 11 and the remainder will be 1. Please divide and check if you have a problem in understanding this. Please take this number 23 and divide by 2 and write the quotient here and write the remainder over here. And as per the rule, continue doing it till you get the quotient as 0. So divide this 11 by 2. How many times 2 will go in this 11? 5 times. So 5 comes here. 5 times it will go and finally 5 twos are 10. What is left? 1. So 1 is the remainder. Keep doing it. How many times 2 will go in this 5? 2 times. So 2 twos are 4. So 2 twos are 4. How much is left? 1. Keep doing it. How many times this 2 will go in this 2? Once. What will be the remainder? Nothing. So, you reached here, but you are supposed to continue till you get the quotient as 0. When you divide this 1 by 2, you can't divide it, right? Like it will be a, a, a decimal, like in, this, in, uh, in mathematics, we call it a decimal number, number with a decimal point. But here when I say it is about, I'm talking about a number system. So decimal point is not acceptable at this case. So you can't write it as 0 0.5. So it will be that integer part of it, it is 0. The quotient will be 0 because 2 won't go with this. So the quotient will be 0 and what will be your remainder? 1. 
Now as for the rule, you have to write from bottom to top all the remainders. What are the remainders? 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So your answer respective binary value of 23 base 10 is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 base 2. Don't forget to mention this base value. If you don't mention this base value, your answer will be considered as wrong answer. The next example is number 54. 54 when divided by 2 will give you 27 as quotient and 0 as remainder. Keep doing the same process. 27 when divided by 2 will give you 13 as quotient and 1 as remainder. 13 when divided by 2 will give you 6 as quotient and 1 as remainder. 6 when divided by 2 will give you 3 as quotient and 0 as remainder. 2 when 3 when sorry 3 when divided by 2 will give you 1 as quotient and 1 as remainder. And on further dividing this 1 by 2, you will get 0 as quotient and 1 as remainder. Finally, all the remainders from bottom to top needs to be taken as answer. So, you, you will get the binary equivalent of decimal value number 54 is... 110110 base 2. The next example is number 128. Number 128 when divided by 2 will give you 64 as quotient and 0 as remainder. Remember one thing, all even numbers when divided by 2 will give you 0 as remainder. 64 when divided by 2 will give you 32 as quotient and 0 as remainder. 32 when divided by 2 will give you 16 as quotient and 0 as remainder. 16 further divided by 2 will give you 8 as quotient and 0 as remainder. 8 on dividing by 2 will give you 4 as quotient and 0 as remainder. 4 on dividing by 2 will give you 2 as quotient and 0 as remainder. 2 on dividing by 2 will give you 1 as quotient and 0 as remainder. On further dividing by 2, 1 is not divisible by 2. So the quotient will be 0 and the remainder will be 1. From bottom to top, when you write the answer, your answer will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to the base 2.